Alexa, turn on box lights. What's up, YouTube world? I'm getting ready here to paint a, uh, a S crank style beat in a pattern I call Morning Dawn. <coughs> yeah, it reminded me of the the Morning Dawn soft plastic, so I ran with that. <coughs> Previously coated this bait earlier, so and I just mixed up some silver, and we're gonna coat the whole bait in silver. We can leave a little bit of the, of the back undone. Alexa, turn on exhaust. Put the old mask on. Try to protect these lungs, these precious lungs. All right, we're gonna go ahead and coat the whole bait in silver. Create text. Wicked Silver. It's gonna take a few coats because I spray at a low pressure and I thin my paints significantly. A hell of a lot of thinner. It might be a three to one ratio I'm running in here. All right, I'm gonna heat set that and I'll put another two coats on it, but I'll do that off camera. I don't wanna bore you. All right, we went ahead, we finished coating the bait in silver. Like I said, I spray so, so thinned out of a paint, it takes me five coats of silver. I run silver very thin because it'll clog your gun. Or your airbrush whatever you call it uh, next color is we're going to do a hot pink and we're going to do a pink blaze down the lateral line so I'll go ahead and mix up a little bit of pink right now and I'll knock out one one side I'll do the other side off camera Uh, Createx fluorescent pink. I never really use these uh, regular Createx colors, but I am today or tonight. Yeah, I would like to get some wicked detail colors when I get a chance. Not wicked detail colors, wicked fluorescent colors by Createx. I believe the Wicked colors are a more durable paint. Made for uh, like outdoor use. Better in the sun. Pink mixed up. We'll get a little light pink blaze down the lateral line. I'll show you, then I'll hit the other side. Hope I don't screw this up on camera. It's getting there. Trying not to get it on the uh, gill. Let me hit it with some air to dry it. Hit it with some paint, 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 paint. Air dry. Let you have a look right now. Let 
like that a little darker or a little thicker. Drying it. Sometimes you don't have to hit it with the uh, hair dryer to dry it up. If it's a thin coat, just spray some air on it. You'll be all right. Drying it, drying it. There you go. Just a little thin blaze, nothing major. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. I'll be right back. All right, I hit both sides. Well, both sides are finished now. So remember, we hit the uh, a thin blaze right down the lateral line of fluorescent Createx pink or hot pink. Uh, next color we're gonna do is a raspberry fluorescent by Createx. I believe it's raspberry. Ah, uh, oh, I mixed it already. Yes. So we're going to do that. We're going to spray right down the spine, close to the spine. We'll try to get it a little dark. And after we get this a little dark with raspberry, we'll pull back on the gun and start fading it over the shoulders. But we want the back a little dark. Well, darker. So it's dark, lighter, and it fades into that pink. I mean, you already know that. Oh, uh, and I'm going to hold the bait nose down. Come in on an angle here. Is that in frame? That may be in frame. Let's see here. Look a little blurry to me. I'm going to go nose down so I don't get any pink on the uh, the chin or whatever you call that. I'll call it the chinny chin chin. I'm building it up lightly. I really thin this paint so. thinned it too much but I don't want to dump it out and, and I don't want to add more paint to it. Let that old compressor kick off. Check this focus. I can't really tell. I hope it's in focus. I didn't clean my gun good enough with that silver. Getting the cloud here. Yeah, we're clogged. We are clogged, people. Uh, we might have got it. Nope. I can tell by the sound of the brush, we've got a little clog going on here. I 
kind of keep forgetting I'm recording this. I keep pulling the bait out. I'm at very low pressure. I believe I'm less than 20 pounds. I hope you can see that. Well, yeah, we're trying to uh, darken the back. You still see some silver between the light pink or hot pink and raspberry. I'm just trying to darken up that back and then I'll bring it down. And I always use a little cheap Walmart brush to stir my paint. I don't back flush to mix my paint. I'm going to start bringing her down the shoulders now. She's coming down. Now I flip her upside down and I work from the shoulder, from the lateral line on up. Try not to get it on the gills or anything. Oh, she's getting there. That's pretty close on that side. I'm a little away over here. There we go. Try to roll into that hot pink. I forgot a step, so I'm going to have to put some more pink back in here a little later on and uh, hit under the belly, under the chin. Actually, I believe I'm ready for that. I want to change paints, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm not going to change baits. Gee, yeah, change baits, change paints. I looked at my reference. Oh, come on, there we go. And my reference is the raspberry color under the chin. And then later I hit it with uh, detail purple.
let's see. Yep. Low, low pressure. You probably can't even see that on camera. Oh, this phone isn't focusing. There is a very, very light coat of purple down there, raspberry. All right, next color we're going to do is we're going to go out. Uh, a detailed wicked purple down the back we're going to darken it up a little bit and then we'll do a little detail purple over the lip here and then a little under the belly here and then I'll put some fins on it so wicked detail purple I'm not boring anybody. I'm new to uh, making these uh, YouTube videos. I'm new to it. I hope I'm able to help somebody out there in old Tuberville. All right, with this color, you got to be easy. This color is very thin, kind of transparent. Very lightly, very lightly. And once in a while, you spread at such low pressures, wipe the tip of your needle off. Or else, if you don't wipe that needle off, you'll get tip dry and you'll have to stop and maybe fix a bigger problem. I don't know if you can see that, but very very light right now I'll get that darkened up and then I'll move back with the brush and drift it over the shoulders a little bit I'm trying to keep the baiting frame while I'm doing this but I'm blind as a damn bat literally literally Slowly darkening that up. Yeah, I got some. All right, we need a light out here.
very close steady speed as soon as you stop you'll spider web this stuff is really thin All right, starting to look good now I can back off it too fast, splashing paint all over the place. Too fast, too fast. I should have my lid on, but I mean, what's a little mess when you're trying to help somebody out? Hopefully somebody gets gets something out of this video. Alright, I'm gonna hit under the chin real quick, very lightly. I can't even see it going on, bro. Yeah, it's going on. See if we can get a shot. It's a little wet. All right, what I'm going to do now? So I'm going to go over that lip. I am going to have to get in the camera's way. So, I'll be back after that is done. Okay, while off, while off camera, I took the liberty of adding the fins. Uh, I got to get real close to the bait. My head is over the bait, and I blocked the view of the camera. So, I didn't want to do it on camera. So, all that's left now is to do the eyes and uh, clear coat. we're back we're gonna drop the eyes on this bad boy show you how I do it same as everybody else basically as soon as I find my little tool I just sat it down and don't know where it went I got her I use a little l-shaped dental tool I usually get the eyeball on the dental tool before I apply glue. And I set my eye right next to the bait. Hope I don't screw this up because I can't see it. I see it now. There's that little shot. do it for the camera but I don't know if I can I get one edge inside and I put my finger on it and I slide the dental tool out alright let's back out of there and uh, I'll show you what she looks like after clear coat. Just have to get the other eye on there. I'll show you what she looks like. All right, YouTubers. Here's old, uh, what do you want to call it? Morning Dawn after clear coat. They always look better after clear coat. So 
if this video helped anybody, man, I appreciate a like, maybe a comment, and maybe a subscription. Hopefully I can put some more videos together here soon and get them out. Morning Dawn by Blind Fury. Well, formerly Blind Fury. Now it's Blind Symmetry. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you.